Humans have had a long and complicated relationship with oxygen. Too much oxygen leads to the formation of these dangerous compounds known to accelerate aging. Too little oxygen can have even more dire effects, such as falling into a coma after strangulation, or even worse, death. Nature has seemed to find a way to avert this. In North America, there are these radius slider turtles known to thrive without oxygen. When the winter comes, they can tolerate a certain degree of coldness. As the temperatures drop below five degrees Celsius, these turtles flee to lakes and ponds and stay at the bottom of these lakes and ponds, averting from temperatures below freezing. This has its challenges. As the temperatures at the surface continue to drop below five degrees Celsius, these lakes and ponds become ice locked and prevent the entry of oxygen. And these turtles have to survive without oxygen. They do survive without oxygen for the duration of winter, approximately four months, something we as humans don't have the capacity to do for barely four minutes. Now, one might say it's in their DNA, but there's more to it than just DNA. My thesis focuses on finding the epigenetic changes that these turtles employ to survive without oxygen. Now, so what is epigenetics? Epigenetics focuses on the addition of chemical marks onto your DNA to switch on or switch off the right genes. So what is in your DNA is not absolute. It doesn't have to be in your genes to be a great athlete, a great swimmer, or survive oxygen deficiency. We just need to add the right chemical marks onto your DNA to switch on or switch off the right genes, and you can be anything you desire. So, my thesis tries to find the epigenetic changes these turtles employ to live without oxygen. How is this relevant? How can we use this? If I was able to determine the epigenetic changes that these turtles employ, this could work as a guide, a template that we humans could use, could adopt, to live for prolonged periods of time without oxygen. If we could endure low oxygen conditions, we could be hiking the highest mountains of Mount Kilimanjaro, or scuba diving in deep waters, facilitating organ transplantations for a very long time, or even better, traveling to space. This could be the next step in our evolution. Thank you.